Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's a lovely day. It's morning. It's nice. And one of my favorite things to do in my balcony in the morning time, of course, after answering your comments, is to have my coffee in my TARDIS and look at my orchids, see how they're doing, observe some red buds on the tetraspis, watch ring the vandas, and so on. It's just, it's really zen. Hey, do you hear that sound? What is that? Oh my lord, what is that? Okay, so the thing is, my order from Wickman is here, and it's morning. The couriers never come in the morning, so that's a really sci-fi phenomenon right there. So, because in my latest unboxing I actually used a lot of Harry Potter themes for some reason, I don't know, it was a spur of the moment, and one of my viewers actually mentioned something about it, I promised my next unboxing will be Doctor Who themed. So that's what we're gonna do today. Are you ready? Alan Z. Okay, so once again, I'm slightly confused about the dimensions of this box because it's not a big order, so I'm really curious what's inside. Now, I have to tell you, two of the orchids inside are not mine. They're actually my friends because we made a common order. But since she's on vacation right now, I'm gonna hold on to her orchids for a little while. Alrighty, let us unpack these orchids. So as you can see, we have two boxes here. So first we're gonna open one of the boxes and then the second one. Alrighty, so this is a big baby. I'm curious to what's inside. Oh my! So this is new, the shredded paper. Usually in Europe they don't do this for some reason. But apparently these guys did. Dude, I seriously just ordered four orchids. What the heck is in here? Alrighty, so this is how they look inside. And actually I think this is an orchid here. I'm gonna pull up. And either this is one single orchid or, I don't know, I'm just gonna take everything out and I'll come back to unpack each orchid. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with these now. It looks like a little coffin, a little orchid coffin. I'm sorry, that was just mean to say. I'm sorry, forget that. Oh look, in this box I got myself some promotional things. They're in German. Nonetheless, they're promotional stuff, so that's nice. I don't know if I got any bonus orchids since it's my first order. I highly doubt that. And behold, some more orchids. Dude, are these orchids so enormous? Really? Let's find out. Alrighty, so I unpacked all of my four orchids and they're humongous. I'm not sure what to expect. This is the smallest one out of the lot, so I'm just gonna open this one first. Now it's gonna take a while. Luckily, I found myself a sonic screwdriver. So if you have some imagination, just imagine really hard that this is a sonic screwdriver. And this thing actually opens almost anything except wood. Alrighty, so let us see what we have here. Ah, oh, there appears to be multiple layers to this. Alrighty, so how they pack them is in paper, another paper, and apparently some more shredded paper between. So we're gonna have to work a little bit on this one. Let's try again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, we can safely assume this orchid is damaged because look at the flower spike. It is irreparably damaged. And I know what this is. This is the Encyclia vitellina, which was supposed to be in spike. That's pretty much why I purchased it. But the spike is gone. I only have two buds. Hopefully they will bloom, but they do look very, very damaged. So first orchid, I think she looks good. I'm gonna unpack it more, but this flower spike is pretty much doomed. There is nothing I can do about it. And that is a shame. I only hope these buds will survive, but, oh no. Okay, so this is my orchid. Um, it looks good. The orchid does look good. It has a new growth right here, which is nice. It appears to come from the pseudobulb, which is actually blooming. Uh, so unfortunately, yes, oops, there you go. So unfortunately, this flower spike, which is now very tangled in the chopped paper, this flower spike is doomed. Hopefully I will have two blooms to show you, hopefully, but if not, I will just have to wait for the next blooming of this orchid. It has another sheath here, but it doesn't seem to do much. It doesn't look like it's gonna bloom anytime soon, um, so I'm not keeping my hopes high. But this is the orchid. It does not look bad, I have to say. I'm pretty pleased with the root system and so on. So it does not look bad. I am, however, pretty bummed about the flower spike. Note to self, 
uh, packaging in this type of thing. Not so good with flower spikes. Really not good. I would have much rather preferred a bigger box with the, those stakes that Schwerter does. You remember the other unboxing, but hey, um, I'm not gonna judge right now. This is the way it goes, and uh, everybody knows transport can really mess up flower spikes. It's a shame if it happens, but it happens. All right, let's get to the other orchid. Now let's get on to the other packages, which are bigger and bigger. So I'm really curious what I have here. Where's my screwdriver? There you go. Let's try this. Okay, so this is my friend's orchid. The flower spike is in good shape on this one. It has one flower spike and the second flower spike. So I guess this orchid did a lot better than my, my encyclia. And I think my friend will be pleased with how this one looks like. Let's do this. Um, I think it's in good shape, pseudobulbs look good. The media, however, is a bit chunky, but she's gonna repot it anyway. But I do think this orchid is in good shape. Okay, let's unbox another one. Okay, so this is one of the big ones. I'm really curious, Alohomora. Oh wow, well, spells work faster, but hey. Alrighty, so this is another orchid that my friend purchased. This is a Bellara Marfitch Howard's Dream. I'll post these names in the description as well. I will also add photos. This orchid is humongous and it looks so good. It's beautiful and it has a flower spike and hopefully I can show it to you. So it has that round uh, stake and there you go. These are the buds. So yeah, she's gonna be so happy about this. Hopefully they do not lose buds. Now there's one more orchid to open and it's mine and it's a Catlia and it's a very, very huge box. But because I kind of complained they took two weeks to send my order, I think Karma will not be on my side. And the Encyclia, which was mine, had a broken spike. So I am expecting my particular Catlia to not have a spike or to have a broken spike. Because that's Karma. <laughs> so already, let us unbox the other one. Okay, so this is the last package. It's supposed to be my orchid and I found my son a screwdriver. Let's unbox this. Oh yeah, this is huge. And a bit in bad shape. But I see flowers. I will need to operate with the precision of a surgeon because karma is not on my side. I will take half an hour if it takes. I want to save these flowers. I'll pick one by one. Be right back. Didn't I tell you karma is not on my side? Alrighty, this orchid is indeed humongous for the price that I paid for it. It really is looking really, really nice, although it has suffered a lot on transport. This leaf is broken, but the saddest thing is the blooms. Okay, I'll try to show you. These are the blooms. This is, I, I forgot to tell you the name. This is a Catlia Tropical Pointer Galaxy. This is something I've wanted for a very, 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 very long time, but I can find it at a decent price on eBay. So these are the flowers. They are broken, most of them. I do not believe they will refresh because orchid flowers don't do that. Um, but yeah, I hope you can see sort of the damage. Hope you can see how beautiful this orchid is and the price I paid for it dude seriously is out of this world it's 19 euros something and it's a beautiful huge humongous catlia i'm happy with it i'm heartbroken about the blooms though stores please do not pack orchids like that anymore it might not be efficient either because you chop off a lot of newspapers i don't know but do check how Schwerter actually packs their orchids because I think it's better, I really do. And not that I, I like Schwerter because I'm really happy with the orchids that I got from Wickman as well. I just had some bad luck with the Vitalina because, you know, the spike. Anyway, but please, please stores, do not pack your orchids like this. It's not a good idea if you have flower spikes. If you don't have flower spike on an orchid, it's fine. But yeah, this was my purchase from Wickman. Um, I cannot believe all of them were in bloom or in bud. My friend will be absolutely delighted because hers fared much, much better. Callias in general and Cyclia flowers as well. They're not so strong as uh, Oncidium intergenerics in any case. So 
They are prone to get damaged on transport. Yeah, I'm happy I got to see them and I'll just leave it like that because they did not make it through transport and that's it. But I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and if you've ever wondered if you should buy from Wickman, I would strongly suggest that you do. I mean the orchids are really nice, they're humongous, really humongous. Uh, but if you have the bad luck to get something that is in spike or bloom, it will not fare so well. That's the only downside. But hey, you want the orchid, not the blooms only, right? So I would recommend this store indeed. To be quite honest with you, I'm not sure if I'm gonna order regularly from them because everything tends to be a little bit more expensive than shorter. Um, and I think that I will just purchase the stuff that Schwerter doesn't have and the stuff that I really like and I really want to have. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually pleased with the order. I'm not pleased it took so long, but then again, there you go. Um, but yeah, these are the orchids and uh, I'm so sad about this, but you know, it's, hey, I'm not complaining. I got myself a humongous orchid, which I'm sure will do good. It has a ton of roots. And yeah, I can always make it rebloom. It's a humongous circuit. I'm sure it's healthy. I'm sure it's nice. Uh, but you know, as a side note, I actually wanted to send this unboxing video to Wickman. I'm not sure if I should because maybe they don't have a sense of humor. But anyway, maybe I will. If you ever watch this, Wickman, I'm happy with the orchids. I think they're spectacular. I think you're doing a great, great job with caring for them. But I do not like the packaging. And I think it's more hassling for you guys to wrap them like that. And I will add in the description the Schwerter unboxing video. Don't give me the wrong way, but look how they pack orchids. They pack them so well. There's no damage in transport because they don't move around. They have those spikes, so if something comes or is put on top of the box during transport, the box will not, you know, flatten down. Um, and yeah, they don't use so much paper and even if something is in bloom from Schwerter, because I got Vandas in bloom and all of that for my friend, uh, nothing gets damaged as much in transport. So I think that's a lot better and I think you will only have to gain from this and it's not that hassling and time consuming to do what Schwerter does. I don't know, but certainly I prefer that way. Other than that, thank you so much. Uh, I might send this to you. Hope you won't hate me. I don't know. Hope you get my humor. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I do recommend the store. They have lovely orchids, a lot of variety. It's just the packaging that stresses me out. And maybe the waiting time, but maybe that was just my issue these times. So alrighty, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. You can leave me comments and suggestions in the comment section below. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and we can joke around. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Bye.